Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another mobile gaming controller review, this time starring the Game Vice. A really handy little device that essentially turns your iPhone or iPad or any device into a Wii U gamepad, which I, I was probably at the top of the list of things that I didn't know that I wanted. This is what you get when you first open up the package. Of course, this isn't the first time I've opened up the package, but I was kind of able to replicate what it looked like. This is the quick start guide and has one of the most satisfying little snappy things that I've ever heard in my life. Brought to you by a series of cards and a book. Oh, this is a sticker. Oh, this is some of the art. Which is very cool because I absolutely love the art that they got on the box. So you get some trading cards in there too. We're going to go ahead and set those aside. Along with a quick start guide because, you know, we'll figure it out. Now on to the main show. Your device fits inside here and what's really cool is that it can actually function as a backup charger for your phone. You plug it in via the lightning charger. The sticks feel really nice. Limited movement but you don't necessarily need it as long as you have the omnidirectional control it's totally fine. Got your standard buttons with some very good clicky feedback. I like that a lot. Two buttons on top and an ergonomic design on the back too. It's also good to note that it's really light and it does come with its own charge cable which is essentially a micro USB so if you need a new PS4 controller charge cable and you're planning on getting the game vice, hold off, you can use it for both. But now I'm going to go ahead and put my device inside of the game vice controller and we can see how it operates in game. Ah, but you're not quite ready yet. Before we get started you're going to want to navigate over to the app store and find the game vice live app. Download it. It's free. Once you open up the app, you are presented with a whole bunch of games that are compatible with the Game Vice controller. I'll go ahead and click on one. This is probably my favorite part. It has a list of the controls for each game available right inside the app. So if at any point you want to see, like, if I, if I buy this game, will I enjoy it? Will I get satisfaction out of this control layout? Well, you can tell right here. One of the compatible games on offer is Legacy Quest. So I've got it hooked up to my controller right now and... The controls are suspiciously responsive, and that might actually be because the controller is actually plugged in via the lightning cable. So how do I, which which is the roll button? It looks like the right trigger is the roll button. I really like this control scheme, actually. I might find myself playing some more of this. Thank you, Game Vice. You have found me a new game to play. And here I am now in Responables, where I am absolutely digging the control layout here. This is super responsive, more so than other controllers that function off of Bluetooth that I've noticed. I don't know if that's in direct correlation to the fact that it plugs straight into the controller or what, but I, I'm going to keep saying it until I'm proven wrong. What's nice is that the mobile device is actually what adds weight to the whole thing. The controller itself is very light, so I don't mind carrying it on the side, but when I'm holding it in my hands, it feels like I'm actually holding something with heft, which is what I want out of a controller. And finally, Wayward Souls. What's funny is I was actually looking to see if this game was listed, and I was surprised to see that it wasn't listed on the games that were available to be played. <coughs> <coughs> oh, awkward, it's right here. But it does work, which is very nice, because I highly recommend playing Wayward Souls with a controller, because it makes it a lot more do like Dark Souls. This is one of those games where you actually really benefit from the added visceral feedback of a controller. Pardon the inconsistencies here, but... I did learn some new things that I wanted to show you guys during my time trying to play with the Game Vice controller. Before you get going, you're going to have to plug in your phone, and that means adjusting the slider to the appropriate setting. You're going to find the slider on this side of the Game Vice controller, and you can pull and push it accordingly to whatever device size that you need. If you have an iPad, if you have an iPhone 6 Plus, whatever you play on. I had mine adjusted correctly, and like a fool, I just ruined it. To figure it out, go ahead and just plug your controller into the lightning cable port and pull until it is snug on the back like so. There is also a lock. If you pull it all the way, you're going to have to engage the lock in order to undo the whole endeavor. And now you're playing with the Game Vice controller. I've chosen to play some Wayward Souls because it's ideal for testing for latency, and I'm happy to report that with the Game Vice controller, at least the movement seems one-to-one, -one, and I believe that we're getting that because it isn't a Bluetooth connection, rather it is a direct connect via the lightning cable port. Something that I did want to mention real quick is that you cannot use the Game Vice controller and a case for your iPhone in tandem. That means that if I am out and about, I'm more than likely going to bring my Game Vice controller with me, but while I'm in the comfort of my own home recording games for you guys to watch, I'm going to be using my SteelSeries Nimbus controller because I don't have to pry off the case. Now, back to the regularly scheduled Black Mat. 
So now that we've seen it in game, here are my final thoughts on the controller. I absolutely love it, and it's probably my new favorite controller. The only thing that's holding it back, I, honestly, my one complaint is that it doesn't use the lightning cable to actually charge the thing. This is a lot heavier. This is a lot more controller. In fact, I don't necessarily want to carry this with me. However, the game vice, I could see myself just like folding this bad boy up, putting it in my backpack. Oh, what? This is a magnet. There's a magnet in back. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. I'd like to rescind my complaint about the charger. Doesn't even matter. The game vice is probably the best controller out there for your mobile device. Highly recommend you go get one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more of what you saw today, maybe consider subscribing. All right, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.